His turns. Told you. Five minutes, my ass. <laughs> Matt Wise. Um. Well, uh, we're probably going to see. Green. What do you think we're going to see? <laughs> green stomping some stuff. Yeah. The green deck is, is very, very silly. Very silly. It's just on a different. It's it's just. It's yeah, it playing a different format than the rest of these decks. It does. It seems so. Absolutely. I think that's a good uh, assessment of it. And, and probably because it's only one color, and the fixing sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. That's what I've taken away. A lot, away a lot from of coming to play tap lands in this format. Yeah. What I've I've taken away from it is that. Uh, Two color decks are probably just the best thing. Like any kind of three color seems. But even the two color deck are playing these like fast lands that are cool for three turns. Right. And then you're also playing come into play tap lands. It's uh. See, I feel like what I was, I had played a deck in Monard, and I was trying the fast lands and the Crimson Vow Midnight Hunt lands, and those actually together those felt super good, but. You're still having your fourth and fifth lands. Yeah, the, the Crimson Moon Midnight Hunt lands come to play untapped. Right. I mean, you did like. You're going to have. You're like, going to have lands, lands come into play tap, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you're going like, to have lands come to play tap. That's fair. I'm just saying, like, that's. More, more than what, I'm, what I'd be comfortable with. Whenever you're ready. Well, I mean, that's why we play modern. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's a. Uh, it's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad to have those. And honestly, like if you do a two color, you can just I'm pretty sure there's a mana base in this format that isn't necessarily things coming to play tapped. I just haven't seen it yet. Well they're coming to play tapped earlier, they're coming in the tap late, like one or the other. And so like, the, both the, are bad. The Midnight Hunt Crimson Islands a come lot of the tap, time kind of meant to play tapped early. I mean, they come to play untapped. Late. At the same, well, no, I mean, on the third turn, they're the same as the fast lands. Yeah. So you just have other things to play. Basics, the uh, the things from Kaldheim and Zendikar, those things, they come to play untapped. You just choose one or the other, and so yeah. I I feel like there's a better mana base than I've seen. Is all I'm saying. But we've seen a lot of three color things, and I think that. You should probably just lean into two color mm. pairings. Makes more sense for this format, as far as I can tell so far. The other things I've played in this format before were two color things, so. Yeah. Here's thoughtsies. Yeah, the Minidork. We have pain lands. Maybe they should pay, play more pain lands. Are they in this thing? Yeah, they were in uh they were in something. I mean yeah. Yeah, I think they were in like uh Origins or something. They were, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think yeah, I think there's I don't know. I definitely feel like the mana bases have been questionable and uh could be easily improved upon. Oh, mm. another tap land. <laughs> oh, that's cause, Speak of the devil. Well, that's because Matt's playing these fucking spy lands. I think that's a spy land, yeah. Mm. And then those things are not good. <laughs> the BFG lands are are not good. They're only good. The only time I found a place for those things was in the five color bring the light deck. Outside of that, ugh. The old turn three thought sees. Just in time. Yeah, so that's a wonky to I mean that seems the thing. 
He's going to get a good amount of mileage out of what he's got left, though. Is that the right pick? I don't know. Is that or Kiora? I mean, they're both... They're both good. All right, so oh, kill the thing. Okay. That's decent. So he's going to... If he drew a mana dork, that would be good for him. Play the Kiora, untap, play a mana Is that dork. strangle card an instant? No, it's sorcery. It is sorcery. Kiora. Does he untap anything? I feel like it would have been fine to just make it an instant. It only hits creatures. I mean, hey, creatures are walkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it doesn't hit it, player. It didn't go it would, face. Yeah, yeah. It, it would have been fine. I agree with you. I do not disagree. And here's Dreadbor. Yeah, that's a good card. I've always liked no Dreadbor myself. Just say, fuck you, Planeswalker. Very clean. All right, what do we got from John? We're going to see this thing. That's good. Not killing that one. Yeah, no, that's a, it's a very solid card here. Unless you have an edict. Fires? It's this Pioneer. Yeah, Pioneer. Jesus Christ. This is Pioneer. Well, it's not a good Pioneer. sign for Matt when he plays Fires and doesn't play a second spell. Yeah, no, it's not must, the best. Must mean he's got a couple lands. Uh, in hand. Let's see, Matt. Move back. Show us what you've got. Now he's got Dreadbore and Collective Defiance. Oh, he just had no targets. Yeah. Well, there is that. <laughs> the old besage you putting in work. Yeah. Yes, this is indeed Pioneer. Oh, and Matt Cam finally has a land coming. Zilla. Untapped. I guess that's what you would say, Camzilla. Yeah. It is Pioneer. It yes. is Pioneer. Right now we've got uh, Marty Fires versus Mono Green Walkers, which has been mopping up the room. Mono Green Walkers seems pretty okay. Yeah, I, I prefer that, Micah. Shocks and buddies. Yeah, I mean, it seems super straightforward. Like, there's definitely a mana base there that's not that bad. There's enough lands in the format that it shouldn't be that hard to make. Well, the other problem is, like, I feel like they don't have all that, right? I mean, are all the buddy lands, I guess it's Yeah, possible. no, all the buddy lands are ready to go in Pioneer, for and sure. All the shocks are, too. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. exactly. And then there's enough filler in between to, to fill the gaps. Like, the, the mana bases there, we just have been seeing people with greedy mana bases, basically. Yeah, here's Chandra. Get him plus. Do some damage. That carry it is still good. On John's side, and we're gonna get this thing again, which is proven to be a pretty okay card. So on its, that's just the natural cast side, right? So that's gonna be the top like six. You get a thing, I think, and then you flash it back. You get two things. So in this situation, he's gonna get all the all the things look good from my angle. Yeah, no, they they look good. Three, you always two, get two. Eight, eight. So what's what is it when you flash it back? Also two. Oh, is it just two all the time? I don't know what the card is. Ah, uh, you've seen it. it isn't I, I've card. seen it, but nobody played it. Yeah, they play here. That's a lot of fucking value. <laughs> yeah. Card in the uh, this troll. I love this troll, man. That's. I really think it's a super cool card. What What is that card? Do we know? The troll. No, the thing that gave him. It's a. Uh, Oh, what is the name of it? Um, go to here. Let me grab it real quick. I'll find it. It's weird because it's like uh. Let's search. It is. Where is it? Chandra and play. Storm of the Festival. One of the top five cards, you may put up to two permanent cards, the mana value five or less from among them on the battlefield, and the rest in your random on the bottom of the random board. Hmm. So yeah, top five cards, 
Look at for six mana. Two that are five or less and put them into play. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, Dreadboard took care of the Karn. Still got the Troll. Happened for four men there. And he says. Five mana. All right, Cavalier. Another great card. And this is a good situation. If it does die, its trigger is actually relevant. So that card back on top. Does it give something better than a basic land? Uh, yeah, it just goes for the better card, I suppose. Probably doesn't need it at all, <laughs> really. But hey, you know, you get it. So why not take it? All is right. Nykthos the best card in Pioneer? Mm, I don't know if I would say that. It's good in this deck, for sure. <laughs> I mean, it feels like the best deck, and I think it's the best card in the deck. It's one of the best ones, for sure. It definitely enables it to do super fucking silly things. That's uh, not arguable at all. Oh, yeah, then cast that thing for whatever amount you cast it for. So he... Fucking 10? Really? Because the Nykthos, double Nykthos. Oh, yeah, I know. I didn't think I he mean, had... It would have been for two if he didn't have Nykthos. I don't think he had that much available to float. Yeah, that's fucking silly. All right, pedal push. Yeah, this deck is just pretty okay. I'd have to say. All right. So man's definitely... How many cards he's got in here? I feel like he's pretty, pretty much on the back foot, I'd have to say. Oh, yeah, he's super on the back foot. Might even say but I mean, fun. he can get a free card. I think you're always supposed to plus Chandra first. I would agree, generally. I mean, I think you just activate your walkers first. Pretty much especially, all the time. Especially the card advantage one. Cause yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, like, you want to be able to cast What if, what if there's a five drop underneath there? You're fucked now, man. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. All right, so I'm going to plus now. Oh, he's getting two mana. Okay. He's got stuff to do. He's got plans. He's got plans. Uh, Collective Defiance. Oh, this is has like an escalation. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So. Damage there. Damage to him. That just goes on that, the land. That gains a bunch of life, right? Yeah, because the lifelink. And that's good, but it's only like so good. Really. Yeah, now he's got this giant thorn thing. Yeah, it's a 5-6. And then Chainmate can just turn into a 4-4 four, four again. Does the 4-4 four, four have haste or it just... No, yeah, it doesn't have haste, but it has trample. It's still a trample 4-4 four, four, but you can make it instant speed. Oh, this thing. So, you know, look at that. It's going to get some obnoxious shit. Another Cavalier of Thorns. Looks like. And another Nyctos. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so he's going to throw in Cavalier, Nyctos, sack the existing, look at the top, four or five. And he's going to get another land off of the Cavalier. Trigger there. Maybe not. <laughs> no land. No. Oh, shucks. <laughs> you just got a. You just got a five six. I stand corrected. This deck is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Float. Uh, one. Yeah, fucking shit ton of man. It's a flash this thing back flash again. Flash thing back. Indeed. Yeah, Nykthos is by far the best card in this deck. 
Yeah. He's not doing any of this shit if he doesn't have Nicholas. No, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. He, it is definitely... Like, like a couple of Animal Elves aren't getting you to this point, man. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true, yeah. It is uh, uh, It is very much hinging upon the old Nick, though, is for sure. No, oh, he gets to beside you. There's one. What does other get? It's got to be something decent. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Maybe I'll take that. Uh, swing at Sandra, Chandra for five, I'd have to say here. Get rid of the walker, get rid of the creature. Yep, jumps. And Matt is just on the back foot here. Does he have what is fire and invention? Yeah, if he hits a badass card with Chandra. Here's that. See what he gets off the top. And he gets... New Chandra! Boom! All right. Fair enough. Uh, I mean... It doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was getting I mean, to he, that. He can, he can plus it and dome his opponent. Uh, I mean, that's what you do. So, hey, dude. And John's like, all right, well, he still has one of those stupid ass things to flash back to. Like, he had two of those in his graveyard. So, yeah. that's happening. Yeah. And you can turn that thing into a 4 4 trample whenever he wants to. And there's that, too. Yeah. Uh, up hey, that okay. devotion count for Nekthos. Oh, there's a. Uh... And the Karn. Okay. Yeah, this deck is fucking stupid, dude. I think, think you had his choice of Karn or Nissa. Just, yeah. This deck is... That Winota card was a problem. Like... <laughs> yeah. I haven't, I haven't followed this format, but I'm just, I'm just saying, like... This deck is fucking pretty silly. <laughs> There may be there may be other problems in the format, guys. There may be some other things happening. Oh, that's fucking neat. All right, interesting. That's the uh, pestilent cauldron, something from Strixhaven. It makes a. Uh... What game is this? Uh, pretty sure this is one. Oh. Yeah. This is game one. So, dude, that is gross. Actually, that is so gross. So, Karn is an artifact out of sideboard. What he just got? Three drop artifact that makes token pest tokens, but it's one of the devil side of things from Strixhaven. The other side is five mana, buy back two cards, and then exile it. So, Karn just. Gets a thing that buys back two more cards <laughs> out of your graveyard. That's fucking obnoxious, dude. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Okay, now you can untap Mykthos. That seems yeah. important. Yeah, that seems like... <laughs> why, why is this still happening? Like, fuck, man. <laughs> why is this still happening? <laughs> uh, this is over. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, I, I assume, 29, assume there's though. an Ulamog or something that... I don't even know. Oh, Does it even matter? Okay. Okay, so tutor some other... Oh. Oh, fuck you. That is so stupid. What do you get back? The, the, the thing. The, the thing that you just got. That's the strict saving thing. Yeah. The, 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 the five, one that was exiled. The other side exiles itself. When it gets yeah. back two things, Karn gets back things you own found exile. Yeah. That is fucking retarded. Fuck you. Fuck this deck. This is fucking silly. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, that's nonsense. This is nonsense. Match is over here like, well, hey. I'm at 33. I can pay. I can play two spells per turn for free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I feel I feel like there's like a Nulamog or something that just ends this game. I probably. hope so. I mean, or just stop doing your dirty ass shit and just swing for 10 already. Come on. <laughs> like, well, his opponent's at 33, so. I mean, hey, dude, that's that's progress. That's progress. Ten is progress. Swing for ten. Do something. Yeah, now we're rewinding and explaining all this back. Yeah, that's, uh, thank you, Matt. We appreciate that. 
Yeah. All right. All right. So that was fucking stupid. I didn't even think about it. That's just. That's just. That's just. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who'd nick those? <laughs> this is why I know the thing's a problem. Like, look at this deck. Dude. I mean, I think it. I, like, from what I understand, it was actually a problem. Yeah, I, it's fine. But like, this is got. This is the next on the fucking chopping block. I have to imagine. Like that shit is ridiculous. I didn't even think about that with a. That, with that thing, like, oh, this car to get back to get this artifact that is actually a five mana spell to buy me back two things, but Karn then egg then can get that out of exile to buy me back two things again. Like, what the actual fuck? Like, mm. that's crazy. That's so good. I didn't even. That is obnoxious. I didn't even know that line was there. All right. See if we can see some. I know John doesn't sideboard. Let me see if it's Matt, what Matt sideboards here. We've seen this deck enough to know that he doesn't sideboard. I don't know if Matt's sideboarding either. He's just like, you know, whatever. It's fine. Sweltering Suns seems good. Should definitely probably keep that in there. I mean, I guess it kind of seems good. It kills mana dorks. I feel like the the two three death touch guy that steals a card from your opponent not so good. Yeah, not enough. No. Invoked is fair. Looks good. Farewell. Yeah. Yeah, the so far grandmasters could probably. He loves them though. I mean, I actually really appreciate what it's doing in the deck. It's actually pretty cool. Gating life. No, no, no. You, you <laughs> cast the second spell without paying its mana cost, right? Right. So then you can actually use the ability to put sure. the spell back in your hand. So like, sure. I appreciate that, but I don't think it's good enough. I haven't seen it happen yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, so. I, I think it's <laughs> he's dealing with something that's just too fast and too powerful, so it's probably not actually worth it to try to hope that works out. So there's... And the Collector Defiance, too, is kind of meh. So I, I don't know what he's bringing in, either. But, uh... Dread Boris, seem good, leave those in. Hmm. Yeah, definitely take those out. I feel I feel good enough about that. No, I do I do appreciate that uh the soul fires place in this deck. But it's just this green thing is just a fucking house, man. She's just power. She's power on power. I don't know what that card was. Thank you. Extra weird Strixhaven printings. <laughs> really Maybe appreciate it. Spark. That. that could be, yeah. That actually be a good fit too. That would make sense here. John is just chilling. Just waiting. Come on. Ready whenever you are. My mono green deck that doesn't sideboard. Definitely proven it does not need to. Yeah, so I, uh, I rescued a turtle this morning out of the road. Mm -hmm. uh, did not know that. So I picked him up. He went into defense, did into defense mode, pissed himself, right? Mm. Please tell me you moved in the direction he was already going. Uh, I did not get pissed on, so that's no, good. No, I'm just like like turtles crossing the road. You move him the direction he's going. I moved him the direction that made that I was able to. I did not help him cross the road. No, oh. but well, I he's found he's just gonna turn around and yeah, I found a her. nice wood. I found a nice wooded thicket for him. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best I could do in the time I had. Yeah, he was gonna die. Otherwise, so yeah. he he probably died anyway, but yeah, well, because he's gonna go back across the road. He's gonna try. I know. I know. So these, I, I hope these so. turtles this time of year they they go towards water. And yeah. So he was heading towards a water source. So like if you no, pick I him know. up and put I him know. back on the other side, he's got to start I, I know. over. I know. I thought about that. I just I my hope was that somebody else 
would see that happening and then actually be able to take him to the bottom shores. But, yeah, he the thing that it surprised me, he pissed himself, his defense mechanism, and goddamn, it had to have been like a full fucking 12-ounce can of soda worth of... <laughs> like, it was crazy. Like, it was crazy. I, I picked him up and it was just like fucking spraying everywhere. <laughs> it was nuts. I'm like, this had to be all the liquid in your body, little guy. Like, how did this even happen? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, show the thought sees Mizium order to kill Anwar Elf. Man, that feels like fucking super overkill. Alright. Pretty uh, slow going game here. Nothing? Oh, he's got something. He's got something. Kiora. Untap play a mana dork? No. Nah. Somebody didn't have a mana dork. Yep. Yeah. Matt says, fuck that shit. Murderous rider. Get rid of that. It's good value. Alright, alright. Match off to a good start here. Not the worst. Fires. Yeah. Alright. Matt's cooking, man. He's he's doing some things. He's doing some things. Might be able to get there. So it's your... How does that card read? I haven't seen it in so long. Which one? Fires of Invention. You can play two spells for free on your turn, but you can't cast spells from anywhere else. But it's just you cast two for free? Yeah. Pretty sure. Something like that. Cast spells only during your turn, and you may cast... You can and you can cast no more than two spells. Yeah, it has to be like cast spells with mana value less than equal number lands. Okay, okay. I see. I see. Would you? Did he? What did he do? Oh, he exiled, he exiled everything. I like that card. I actually think I that's do. Cool. The, yeah, the, I do think the otter even cool. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that card is solid for sure. Besides you, all right. Well, he's not firing shit anymore. Sad face. Sad face for Matt. That, the uh, Black Invoke could be really good in this match if it hits on the right timing. I feel like right now would be a good time. It would. When he's got well, nothing... Really, it would have been good when you had the fires out. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> that would have been the best timing. But, you know, we were with what we get here. So, Do you have to discard if you don't have the, the uh, thing? If you don't have the, your, well, so if you don't have... They just draw. They just draw and you and lose you two. Lose. Yeah, so if you don't have any of the conditions, they draw three and you lose six. And with with fires out, casting that for free, that, that would feel pretty good. I yeah, that would be okay. Dummy for six to draw three cards. Don't hate it. Yeah, no, that'd be that'd be pretty fucking okay. Oh. Land or Elf. I feel like it's kinda over now because you played the Land or Elf. <laughs> that's really all it takes. Kinda out of action, so right. It's been a common theme in this match. In every match, this green deck just never runs out of action. So, he's got the troll in his hand too, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a troll in there. That troll is just such a good backup plan, man. It's just so much efficient value. Oh, okay, Ooh, he's got that thing. Well, and it is spark. Yeah, I mean, he's... One, two, three, four... Yeah, he can cast. Yeah, yeah. Let him run out some shit. You can be patient with it. I mean, I feel like you just... Does he... No, he doesn't uh, have double white. Oh, goodness. Uh, how? See, this is what I'm talking about. I know, with the I mana. know. I'm pretty sure I would have double white in this situation. I'm pretty sure it's possible. There is better mana possible than I think we've seen. But everybody's got back into it, too, you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean everybody the, just... It's just look, being re-explored. Look at uh, John's man over here, just... <laughs> Perfect mana every time. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's true. But it's, it's a tad unfair. 
<laughs> I mean, this isn't perfect because he doesn't have Nick, though, so. Right. It's rubbish. Alright, so he's gonna send more witch, which is a good code. I like that. Uh, here's something big Cavalier. I don't know, it's this thingy. Which fights or something? Take else? three. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely D Spark. Uh, it does not have. That's specific to CMC4 or greater, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it's not D-Spark? Must not be. It looks like it could be. Uh, I'm going to go take a look. Yeah. Is he uh, on the ETB and I D-Spark? Uh, does he still have to pay the three life to target? Hold on a second. Okay, so... Once that thing enters the battlefield, it is not a CMC4 or greater. I think that's how DSpark reads. Specific to CMC4 or greater. Find out. D Spark. It is a solar John. Check your game. Or greater. Yeah, so that couldn't even target it because once it's on the battlefield, it is a two drop. It's not even a valid target. So you could not have cast. Lean in, hoping that he's going to get that white mana source. Because if he does, that's going to be pretty good for him. Farewell will definitely be pretty clutch here. Yep. Not a legal target. Not a legal target. Indeed. White source. It's really what you need. White source? No white source? No, oh, there it is. <laughs> those things are terrible. I what, hate what, those lands. What is it? It's the fucking things where you reveal a land of a given type for it to come in untapped. Huh? Those things are trash. They're the fucking old Innistrad ones they finished in Strixhaven. Those things are garbage. Those lands I just hate. Yeah, well, there's that. It's a good card. But he has the far well. So Matt actually has a good answer here. It's going to get cast next turn. Which one? I mean... Uh... What? The lands? Yeah. Yeah. They, so in the original, in a were Shadows you, of Renestrad, the ones where you reveal a basic or whatever. Yes, that's what they. That's what that was. Okay. They just come in. Those things are fucking garbage. They always come into play. Uh, tapped. Yeah, they they're just bad. They're just fucking bad. <laughs> and he says, "Yep, gonna exile everything." I feel like he should have saved the D Spark. He didn't do this. Well, anyway. I mean, yeah, I feel, I feel. What, 100%, does that thing? Does that thing hit everything? I, I feel like he was the damage. No, what is it? Yeah, Never? it does. It, it exiles creatures, enchantments, and blah blah blah. So yeah. It, it, no, that's not it. What is that thing called? It's called farewell. Farewell. Close. Not walkers. It does not hit walkers. Okay. So the D-Spark was good there. And then he just follows up with Karn. Yeah, I so, knew that was his last card. Welcome to Mono Green nonsense. He gets to do whatever they want. Good stuff. I'm sure he's got a good one here. Oh, I'm sure. Probably that fucking Godfair. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, really. Nope, Sky Sovereign. All right. You didn't have me way to crew it, but... Karn says you don't need to crew it because you can just plus Karn and it's a fucking 6 5 flyer. Yeah. It's good stuff. Matt uh, can draw cards. Keep that black castle mana open here. Yeah, I mean, play to what you got. Absolutely. What did he. Oh, he got the, the ship. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. 
Okay. That thing is it's a good card there. I like that card a lot. Good card, I don't know. It definitely does something on this board for sure. I think um, I think you're supposed to draw the card there. I guess he didn't have yeah, the the I mean, black mana because because uh, he has thought season in his deck is what I was thinking. Right. Okay. So Sky Sovereign ends up marking him for three damage. Plus up. I mean, you can't. You don't have haste, so you can't attack with it. it D um, does Karn give it haste? No. It does not. Okay, he was just doing it to do it. So I think it... Um, the thing is that called the Great Creator. Yeah. I'm going to make sure it's... I'm pretty sure it does. There's oh. a comma. Comma, comma. God damn it. All right. Plus, until your next turn. Okay, that's what I thought. Let me check that. So he's got 6-5. Grim Tutor for Matt. Gonna get oh the invoke card. That's gonna be good. That's yeah. gonna be good. Yeah. Um no K command from this deck. Alright, so that's gonna clear John's board, which is good. Does it get rid of artifacts? Yeah. Artifact, walker, and enchantment. Wow, that's so it's a sure. black card that deals with artifacts. Yeah. If I was red, I'd be really pissed. <laughs> right. All right, and then he still loses. He gets a, oh, it makes it a creature until his next turn. Yeah. So, oh, I just set but him actually, up to no, get a zombie it, token, it right? Might, it might not get artifacts. It might just get creatures. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That. that that makes way more sense. Yeah, I think that's true. Despair. Yeah. So creature. Yeah, no, it's because he plussed. Yeah, it does not hit artifacts. It hits creatures and enchantments and walkers. And the plus made that happen. So here's this thing. It's gonna be uh four four. It's gonna Does it do damage? Is this a voracious hydra? Mm -hmm. yeah, These it's, cards it's, we haven't seen in so many It has like a million it does it one of a million things. I think it does two things. Yeah. And battlefield has counters and enters, choose one, double the number of counters. Fights a creature you don't control. Good timing for him. All right, match follow up is Castle. Yeah, I feel like it's not really timely top decks when just all of your cards are good. Right. What are we looking at here, Matt? Uh, Fatal Push. I mean, that's good. Fatal Push does track. Yeah, Fatal Push kills that thing, so. It's just a land. All right, Matt might be able to... He was confused about the CMC of this thing earlier, so maybe he's still confused. <laughs> I hope not. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Fire it off. Hey. Blam off. Hey. All right, good shape. Match trying to turn this corner here. Shamey drew that a turn too late. It'd been nice to have that when he had the uh, Kalidas in play. Oh, I think he's gonna do Valky shit here. Yep. Yeah, this will definitely. Yeah, this will help turn this game around for sure. I don't remember what this guy does. Oh man, he does stuff. Is what he does. He does. Stuff. So, enter the battlefield. You can emblem with. You may play cards exiled with him, and you may spin mana of their any mana of any color. Plus two is the top card of each player's library. Minus three exile artifact or creature. Minus eight exile all cards from your graveyard. Add three red. So. Well, he got a land war elf. Yeah. So you're plus two, and you can just 
start playing shit off the top of their library. And then you can minus three to start exiling anything. Then whatever you exile, you can play. It is really a pretty silly card, honestly. Yeah. Red Cavalier. Yep. All right. Damn. So we're going to game two, uh, game three. We're going to game three with 12 minutes on the clock. This has been a... Uh, this has been this has been a game for sure. <sighs> All right, I'll let these guys know. Oh, they're right on time too. Just so you know, you guys have got 11 minutes. All right, yeah, this has been a, been a decent final match here. Mono Green didn't get to just run away with this like it's been. Matt definitely uh, has a lot of power resting this deck here, so. Everybody's got all the answers they need, so we'll just have to see where this goes. But being in the play for any mono green deck is always a pretty big upside. So we're going to have to see how much of an upside this is going to be. It's hot as fuck in here. Yeah, I mean, shit, it's probably quiet enough. We can probably leave the door open. Probably. All right. So on John's side, we've got some aura, mana ramp. Um, I don't know what those mm. two cards on the left are. You flip these cards more like everybody else. We uh, we get a better idea. Oh, okay, it's a card. Oh, it's an elf. Alright, yeah, so this is pretty decent. This is a pretty fast start, John, for sure. It's a deal one damage thing. Yeah, hey, let's get that fucking elf Splans out of here. Splans doing the work. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. If it works, it works. Yeah, another elf. Does he have another one? Oh, it'd be so good if he had another one. It's probably a one of. You probably didn't have another one. No, no. Hey, here's the card. Yeah. Yeah, you let it get going, it's over. That fucking card, too, man. That card is just. Man. These fucking planeswalkers. <laughs> it's gonna get the statue. Yeah. Pretty pretty optimistic. Well, I mean, he's got another mana ramp thing in hand, so Matt does have the fires. He just needs to get there. Yeah, he's not too far off. What the fuck is that thing? It's the thing where you name, name a, a card and I think they get zombies or something. Who are you named? Not anything in hand, obviously. Nykthos. Yeah. What are you named Lands? Probably non basics, yeah. Well, yeah. fuck. There we go. It's pretty good. I don't hate that. Yeah, and I think he, he gets like zombies for what he has in hand. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. If that's really gonna pull anything through or not? Because I mean, it could. We've seen it. Like it, it, it does cut the power level of oh, John's it, deck. It, it does. Quite a it bit. does. But with what he has in hand right now, um, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a big hit, but it might not be exactly enough. So we're gonna enchant this land. Let's tap him for two. I assume that's what's happening. Yep. 
Move to another haven. Got a did you have a follow up? He has a follow up of three. One for nope, Kiora. Okay. You can still untap this thing, tap two more. And we're elf and plus for the sake of it and pass. And so that's why I like All right, I does was, he have uh, untap land? He does. He does. Right, so here's a fire. Does the fires do something? And is there a follow up? Okay. Uh, it is a, it's a thing. It's a good card. I don't know if it exactly does enough. It might not. Four, five, six. This thingy, his shit costs more. I think it makes his shit. Yeah, it pulled up. Okay. Yeah, it just makes their shit cost more. Nothing to defend this card, which I don't know if he actually gives too much of a shit. I think he pressed on the thing. Oh, you check down to see if it actually taxes him. Concern. And not down take you got domed for three. Second fire is from that. John drawing his card. And what did you draw? Yeah, not anything super impactful here, but not anything wrong with it. Got that thing. Got a good X roof wall. Tap and I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the carn. Go get something on the sideboard. Some degree of a sweeper, maybe? I don't know if there's anything in this format that allows for that. Oh, a meteor goal. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Can't cast it yet, though. Here, Kenny. Nope, not quite yet, but it's coming next turn. Definitely a pretty solid get. Yeah, and this is a, that's a real card. That's this land. And pass. John's got a really strong setup for next turn. Got a meteor golem in hand. Seems gonna come down and answer this Kalidus, no problem. Meteor golem just blows up any permanent, right? Not non permanent? Um, it's the uncommon from. Yeah, it blows up any permanent. Yeah, uh, he seems pretty yeah, good. Yeah, he kind of lets them, like, I mean, Nissa's a problem in and of itself. Yeah, I think Matt's too far on the back heel here. 
He's got two lands. I think he's got an Invoke Despair, but like that's not. There's too much shit on John's side. Yeah, the problem is he doesn't have a land. Oh my god. So he just has nothing. Oh, he didn't have enough lands to play the spells. Oh yeah. He? Or no, the okay. He's not he the Invoke the Expansion that. thingy, which. Would not have done anything. And now he's going down on lands even farther. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's gonna, oh, he's just going to kill that? Yeah. Which makes sense. Man, I would have killed the land. Yeah, actually would have been. It would have ended up better. You, I think you were right there. Because now he's in a better spot for the extinction event. Does it kill creatures or just non-main permanents with whatever? I think it's just creatures. Oh, okay. Well, that's not super terrible. I mean, he can he can call. Oh, the question is: Does he does he do evens or odds? I feel like if it's just creatures, he has to do odds. Evens gets rid of those two forests, though. Oh right, yeah. Well, he just spent a card on getting rid of one, so he's probably not thinking of that. All right. Use that life. No, I, I do. Uh, Bones Land would have been not the worst, but I think there's an amount of inevitability, and he's got. What do you got? Oh, this thing. This thing. You got the thing. Yeah, the thing. The thing. You do have an additional cost of two that needs to be paid. The card make it cost more, and because I do have lands because it's an additional cost you get to, you get to play the card without paying its mana cost but you still have to pay any additional costs time I could be playing my four drops. What? Alright. Yes, you just have to pay two mana. I feel like, uh, All right, we're trying to figure this out. <laughs> oh, cost and cost reduction and cost additions. This is the weird state we get into once we uh, get into fucking wacky magic with wacky cards that defy the laws of magic. Here we are. Looks like some chumping happening here. Some chumping, chumping. Alright, throwing that thing in front there. 
down taken down to one and that should do it Yeah, the extinction event would have been something. I actually want to look that card up as well. Creatures. Exactly each creature. Yeah. Would not have been enough. So Micah, Micah just echoed exactly what I thought when I saw that happen, which is like, yeah, he's like, so I feel like arena's misleading because an arena it would show that it would like in the, the symbol in the the corner of your card would say like six instead of four like right you know like yeah. whereas and actually it actually doesn't change the mana value of your card yeah yeah yep yep that is uh one of the many reasons why i do not like arena because it it skews it makes people stupid yeah it skews the game yeah it's uh it changes how you see things for sure it's it's not the actual game of magic it tries to simplify it and i don't think that that's something that you should do no <laughs> no it makes it, people it, stupid it needs to the, the game should be presented exactly as it stands all right well so that's uh another 3-0 for john so that's uh i'm sure that's two invitational points um the pioneer events three o's um Still count towards Invitational Qualifier. So uh, pretty much every FNM event, plus any additional <coughs> modern events, are points for the qualifier. So John walked away with two tonight? Is that right? John gets, Seems right. Did John yeah. got three earlier? He so, killed it. He killed it. All right, yeah. John uh, he's murdered. He's got a big tournament tomorrow. And, yeah. He's yeah. going to strut in there and wreck some shit. So I John, mean, uh, in, in congratulations. just four hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just four hours. So congratulations to John for uh, wrecking some shit. Thank you for everybody for that came out to play some Pioneer. Thank you for everybody that watched, paid any attention to us. Thanks to uh, Cam Zilla for the first time chat there. And uh, yeah, so we've got uh, more shit coming up. Invitational is uh, six, about six weeks away. So get out here, play some Modern, play some Pioneer, play some cards, and uh, have, some, have a good time. So thanks everybody for checking us out. And uh, until next week. Peace out. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.